Hey fam, thank you for coming back for another episode of Deb Chanel's 48th World with the Family Affair. Chiming in with their perspectives and their viewpoints with commentary that I put out. Child, ooh child. <laughs> you know we gonna be talking about Nene Leaks and just how she just keeps showing out, okay? And not for the positive, alright? Well, her to call herself an OG. One of the first founding members of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. We can't give that to her. Okay, but queen, self-appointed queen, self-appointed OG, all this stuff is self-appointed by Nene herself. Nobody gave her that point. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I like myself some Nene, but I like the other cast members too. But again, when they acting ugly and intolerable, then that's when I come out and I have to... Um, I have to, you know, call a spade a spade. I have to say, ooh, I just don't like that. You know, that's just unbecoming of a housewife, okay? Because I don't know what's wrong with Nene or what she's thinking in her head. Candy, too. Kenya. Portia. Cynthia. Eva. Am I forgetting anybody, y'all? Um, did I say Cynthia? Well, y'all see the pictures up there. Those, those six women. Did any of them have post-secondary education other than Kenya Moore? Because I'm like, don't they know every last one of them can be replaced? You don't need a GED, a high school diploma, nor a college education to get up on this platform and cut the food. You don't need it. <laughs> and I'm like... Are they in a platform to be role models as well or ambassadors or just anything for the public to take heed of and take them seriously? You see what I'm saying? It behooves me where a lot of these organizations nowadays, they just pick in and everybody that's ratchet to so-called bring awareness to their foundations, you know, the March of Dimes situation i ain't gonna say portia's a bad person because she's not but she's very foul mouth she's very loud and outgoing on a ratchet tv programming show so my thing is are the foundations out there just using these women as recognizable in the community and in the 50 states that we live in and probably out of the country as well as puns to get people to pay attention to their important message because if we're looking at their integrity the compassion the um fortitude of acting and presenting yourself in a respectful manner why do we choose these women okay do you see where i'm going with this so like they say sex sales entertainment sales also because these women wouldn't be a part of it now, couldn't you see a lawyer, doctor, or, 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 or philanthropist in those three that we just saw? But yet, they want to be, and she was a queen. Miss, Miss USA, I believe it was. And see how she down herself, downsized herself to ratchet TV programming. And even your mom went to Clark Atlanta University, got a degree in something. And that's the show... Uh, when Phaedra was on the show and Candy found out that Phaedra had said all these things about her that weren't true, unflattering, and that damaged her career. But then Candy turned around and made money off that same situation that was possibly damning her career and her brand. Now, ain't that hypocrisy at its best? So I'm like, we want Phaedra. We want Phaedra to come back. And then Nene really thinking that Wendy Williams is really her friend no they are co-workers in the entertainment business one hand watches the other one help their ratings go up while the other one do the same when they can so i don't understand what it's all about i mean really nene are you because really 49 54 49 52 it's all in the same boat you know what i'm saying you can't just just dis not distinguish them uh, when it comes to their age, I'm like, Candy, you 44, baby. You live long enough. You be blessed long enough. You will be able to get to that range of 49, 52. But how y'all going on this show? Y'all all gonna blow a gasket in y'all brains, trying to sell your souls. Well, I should say, stun sold your souls to the entertainment field and want to do all this ratchetness, calling people bees, cunts, 
or any other things you could possibly think of that would dehumanize another human being. Okay, now, you see how dark them women were? Okay. And do you see how light they are now? One could say it's makeup. One could say, could say it's skin lightening products. So as you age and get into the money situation where it's very lucrative and profound, you start to want to look European, meaning white. Is that the acceptable thing we're going with now? I don't know. Y'all tell me. Y'all get down in them comments, okay? Because we want Phaedra back. We want Phaedra. And we're going to see how can to move and shake and drag bitches around now then, okay? Because that's her motto. She ready to drag a bitch. That's what she be saying. But the only person that I know that faithfully did that was Portia Williams. <laughs> and I'm like, what is with Nene and all of this gold hair? Everything is always gold, gold, gold. We got Portia. She's the self-appointed princess. We got Eva. She's the top model. Thinking she's still reigning as a queen somewhere. I don't know what world, but this is where she come from. And if she wasn't on the next top model with Tyra Brace bringing her out, we wouldn't know nothing about her. I mean, come on. Top model is what made you, baby, but it didn't keep you. Because you had to come way yonder from your lady to come to Atlanta to get on the show and i think or believe nene talked for you to get on the show but yet you're gonna call her old grandma or some things you be saying because even I, I really don't too much pay you much attention because you make no sense all right not logically anyway but then you got cynthia she's the season none thought of anymore as far as the modeling career you got kenya she wants to be a boss. She says her company is a, a million dollar company. I ain't going to say I know. I ain't going to say she do or she don't. This is what she say. But yeah, you're on a ratchet TV programming show. All right, we got Candy. She want to be a boss, the boss of all bosses and possibly the OG, even though Kenya's going to be standing in her way because she wants that position too. You know, the queen. So I don't know if a boss and a queen would get together because it's self appointed on every fraction of the idea of how these women have played themselves okay yes they have been pimped out by bravo entertainment and they're gonna get every last bit of money they can but my whole thing is why do you think that you deserve more millions on top of millions when you know that's not gonna happen you work for somebody okay you work for bravo entertainment they run the show nene and kenya you all don't they just throw a bone at you here and there, give you spinoffs like they do in candy to keep your, sh your mouth shut, okay? Until they can find replacements for every last one of you all. Because, like, everything in this world, nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever, ever, no, no. Okay, but let's get on into this particular article that U.S. Weekly brought out on one of our housewives dedicated to NeNe, Nene Leaks, of course. We had Dora Jackson over there bringing it out for her uh, magazine company, U.S. Weekly. Check them out. They're in your nearby grocery stores or drugstore department stores, okay? But uh, she titled her article, NeNe Leaks says, Pulling out of the Real Housewives of Atlanta Reunion reunion only felt right <laughs> i'm like nene felt right to who baby who did it feel right because it didn't feel right to the watchers and i was one of the viewers of the show uh since you've been a part of it since 2000 has it been eight i believe that you got inducted into the real housewives of Atlanta franchise girl girl <sighs> Nene, you already make too much money. It's more so called downsizing your wants versus your needs, okay? You don't have to have that big-ass house you live in. And it's going to take that and then some, meaning some raises. Maybe not as lucrative as you want them to be. But if you are seeing the writing on the wall, it would behoove you to just downgrade, downsize. It ain't nothing wrong with that. You still got money in your pocket. Hell, and your sons, are pretty, they're grown. Brent, Brent need to be out of his apartment somewhere to tell you the truth. And it's just you and Greg and the dog. Why y'all can't get a condominium or, 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 or a townhouse and live the luxury, uh, lavish life? But that's just my saying. Because all this money you talking about you want to get. Remember what happened to uh, the other OG? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Do you hear me, Nene? 
the writing is on the wall. Baby, if you hadn't saved your money and put it to good use out of all the time you spent on the Real Housewives of Atlanta and all these other side gigs, I don't know what to tell you, Nanny. I don't know what to tell you. But that's my sidebar. Let's get on into this article. He said, it only felt right to personally remove myself. That's what Nanny said. She said she has no regrets. Nanny Leaks opened up about her decision to walk off the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12 reunion special. Not once. Not three times, but twice, y'all. She walked off twice. And she's going to walk off again on the third part reunion because they're bringing in Yovana. Yes, that bitch from Clark Atlanta. Yes, Yovana's going to be presenting herself and her evidence for her case of the Snake Gate profile. Okay, not in this article, but that was just my sidebar. Going back to the article. Article, it said, it only felt right to personally remove myself from the reunion. The OG housewife, 52, wrote via Instagram on Sunday, May 17th. So much has happened this season. The cook lady, Mark Daly, and Kenya Moore, fake marriages, the Dennis McKinley accusations, snake gate, and much more. But drilling me on subjects, muting me, flashing back to things that have happened since the show wrap, and interviews I've done since we wrapped the show, has nothing to do with the show. Well, my sidebar, Nene, what do they have to do with it, baby girl? Because you have to give more than what you're going to receive when you're messing with the satanic industry of the entertainment world, baby girl. Okay? They're going to give you fame, fortune, and whatever. But it's not going to be long. It's not going to be longevity. It's not going to be very lasting. So, I don't understand. We talked about Portia's husband or Beyonce, Dennis McKinley, and all his trifling ways. She was exposed, and she said, hey, I don't care what y'all say. That's my man. I'm sticking with him. You got Kenya running around now producing fake marriage licenses, <laughs> allegedly, um, and claiming miracle baby, miracle baby, miracle baby, when everybody that decides to have a baby through surrogacy or actually pushing one out themselves. Yes, it's a miracle because you can die in childbirth. But I'm kind of tired of hearing about Kenya and baby Brooklyn. We want to hear about her businesses. We want to know how she's moving and shaking in on financial world since we can't get nothing on this Mark deal. One day she's saying they reconcile and going to counseling via Skyping. Then the next day she's saying he might be seeing somebody. I don't know. He enjoying himself. I just don't need to know about it. Okay. Whatever he out there doing, let him do it. And it's all like, well, wait a whoa, wait a minute, can you? Oh, now that's when Candace should say the lies, the lies, the lies. She's trying to boss up at Nene. She need to be bossing up at Kenya more because she's doing the same shit. Just a different flavor. Okay, that's what I'm saying. But anyway, um, but we move on back to the, um, the, the situation where you're saying they jumping on you. No, nah, they jumping on everybody. And then they, you just taking it personally. A little bit too personal. And OGs, OGs don't mind when the spotlight is hit on them. Good or bad. We just prevail through it. We push through it, honey. We say what we got to say. We stand in our shit and we keep it moving. Okay? I would be... <laughs> Me, focus of attention, please. Ask me anything you want to. That's more talk time for me and me getting to know the population of people that support me and don't support me. While everybody else is on mute listening to the storylines <laughs> that I will be putting out there. I'm just saying. But she worried about fussing with these women. Uh-uh. I toss up a shot at them. I toss up a glass of wine every time they want to come out of pocket and be like, oh, that's your opinion. That's your perspective. Okay, duly noted. Moving on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shoot, Nene, you are the limelight, but you make people not like you because you don't do. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with you, honey. I don't know what's going on with you, but you need to settle down if you're trying to make it to retirement. Okay? That's all I'm saying, Nene. Make it to retirement, baby. Make it make sense. Don't get on out with this mess of Candy saying this, that, and the third, and all this other mess of Candy trying to approach you with. Uh uh. Candy got a clock the time. You already done put in the time. You see what I'm saying? You already done put in the time. So it's no need to fuss with Candy here and there. It's no need to, um, how you call it, uh, be <sighs> disturbed. See, that's what I'm talking about. Money make you, money make you look different. You see how them, oh, girl. See how, you see how light they is now? It might be the makeup, but I think it's some lightning skills going on. How they say more money brings more problems. Having money solves problems too, okay? Especially if you're talking about your looks. 
And we know all the women on the Real Housewives of Atlanta has gotten something done for them to present themselves in a better light. Changing something they didn't like about themselves because they didn't have the money. And then they got the money and they do it up. And I'm like, honey, that beats exercising all day long. But be careful. Don't change your whole uh, essence of who you are. Because you could become very beautiful on the outside but solidly um, like a rock and empty in the inside with no soul okay only thinking about yourself and what yourself can continue to get not thinking about others and that's where it seems like nini has definitely placed herself into and that's not in this latest article it's just my sidebar you know i go off on tantrum here and there stay with me and um keep moving with me don't judge me i don't judge you okay but um Nene goes in, a lady goes in and says, uh, during her commentary or her article piece, Leek cited her rocket friendship with Wendy Williams as something that wasn't related to the Bravo series. However, she also called out the show for not zeroing in on topics such as Candor Burr's restaurant shooting from this past February. And I'm like, you know what, Nene, you bring up a very good question. Why didn't they discuss the shooting that happened at um, her OLG restaurant that's located, I think, in Riverdale or somewhere, East Point. Yeah, why didn't they bring that up? Because the show was hitting the social media web, vlogging and all of that. Everybody was talking about it, except for Bravo Entertainment. Was it past, um, well, no, it could have been past uh, taping for season 12. Because uh, it's a reunion. You can talk about in and everything that's out there popping on them housewives. Okay. And that was very big that happened in Atlanta. But it will seem like it was just pushed under the rug just because she was a celebrity. And they were uh, looking out for her brand, her best interest. So they didn't want to bring that unwanted unwanted uh, attention to her. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. But then you know what? Since they did not bring it up, why you didn't bring it up? Since you and Candy was having a back and forth. Y'all were having a moment with each other negatively why she was saying you're gonna be forever embedded in well her name is gonna be forever embedded in your brain i ain't gonna do the cuss word that she said but you could have said well honey what happened to all that uh disparity and uncertainty for your restaurant with that shooting did they ever catch the uh assailants honey did they ever catch the assailants or was it just something you just put out there for show since nobody died and it was just very little injuries. Okay, was that a plot for a storyline? Can see that's why I would have hit her while she was going all left, right, and in and, and front of me and back of me, trying to um, shade me or put me in my place. I would have hit her hard with that nitty. See that's what OG do. You come for me, then I'm gonna destroy. Ugh, I'm gonna discreetly come for you. Okay, and you're not gonna like how I'm coming because you ain't gonna see it coming. It's just gonna be popping out the blue. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or how much did you pay that lady to have your baby that you couldn't pay one of your family members that wanted to actually have a baby for you? What's up with that, Candy? You don't trust your relatives? That's how I would have been. That's how I would have played that stuff. But again, Nene, that's what shows me and tells me. You fit the two, baby, but you don't need to have a quick read that the gays throw you out there. Just common sense and a, and a little quick thinking, girl. Take the heat off of you and put it on somebody else real quick, fast, in a hurry. And that what makes you queen and you shine all the time. They'll be like, ooh, uh-uh, I ain't going to mess with them. Because she, she'll come out the woodwork. And it ain't going to be something you don't told me. You know, because we don't get down like that. We don't spill the beans like that. We're just saying private is private. But what I find out in that social media streets, shit. I save it for Arsenal, okay? Because everybody, like, want to talk about us in the public eye, such as us as content creators, YouTube bloggers, such as myself. You know, we make our speculation, we make our opinions, but we're not saying it's right. We're not saying it's wrong what we're saying either. We're just speaking, all right, on our own public platforms. And we get like-minded people to come over and join us, and then we get the haters that want to come and defend the people that we're talking about. And that's okay, too, just don't get everything done respectfully, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody have an opinion widely or, you know, um... They want to express it widely and loudly or just say it in secret and be discreet about it. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? We're just talking over here. We're just having a conversation, expressing our opinions. But 
Nene, uh, yeah, that's how you should have played that. That's how you should have played it instead of you waiting for Andy Cohen to bring something. Who bring something? You see, Portia, she was just outright doing the whole darn thing for reunion part one and two. She was just becoming the interviewer herself, all right? Take it Andy's job. Andy, you know, he got tired of y'all black women <laughs> going back and forth. He was like, Ooh, child, I need a drink, but I got to babysit me <laughs> the rest of the night. And we can't be seen as an unfit father right now. But these women want me to drink a whole keg or some beer, okay? Or some two bottles of wine down the hatch in 15 minutes. Ooh, they done drove me to drink and cry at the same time. They don't get on my nerves. You know, this is my sidebar. What Andy could have been thinking in his mind when these six women was just talking, 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 talking. And he couldn't get one word in. But anyway, going back to the latest article, it says, After deciding that apologizing for certain things were only right, that wasn't genuine enough. She continued starting over with a little sis Portia Williams was made fun of. And here they go bringing someone on the reunion that I wasn't personally told by executives wasn't allowed on the set anymore. And of course, she's talking about Yovana because Yovana is coming back for part three of the reunion for season 12. Okay, she's going to put her little spin in some things. And I'm like, Nene, don't be surprised. Cool, whatever you say in the dog going to come back to light. Okay. It's gonna come so that's why I said don't tell shit a secret. Say it in front of everybody so the story be consistent throughout every time you tell it. Every time the story is told, it's told the same way. Okay? But it's just is what it is, Nene. Either you can tie or you just don't want the burden on your back anymore. Cause you got a heavy burden on your back. You got Greg, you got your two sons, you got your grandchildren, uh, you got these women talking about you. Uh and everybody else. So I know. I know. Sometimes it gets very tiring and, and, and lackluster. But then that's when you need to say, do I want to stay with this woman that's sitting over here and calling herself the queen? Talking about she's been a part of red carpets all the time her whole life. And then she's sitting up here trying to bash her ex-boyfriend. Trying to call him, you know, this, that, and the third. And the man, if he's suffering from mental illness, which I really think he is, I mean, uh, Eva did not need to make that as no storyline and try to play off of it to get sympathy points. Because we, we both people are damaged. Eva is damaged as well as Kevin McCall. Okay, and that's just true facts there. To bring up a subject where one person is seen in a better light, we don't know what Eva was doing behind them closed doors. We don't know. Because we, you know, Nene said she's a carpet cruncher. She up there licking bottoms. Okay, to stay on top not my words that was nene words okay are we gonna believe it hmm it's plausible that could have happened but do we know it for a fact no we don't but it was good banter good key key here and there then you got candy talking about she a boss she's just that in the third want to take over but i'm like girl you're doing too much you're doing too much candy you're doing too much but it just is what it is. We want Phaedra back. We want Phaedra back. You see how I did that? I uh, tried to that uh, scratching with my... You know that? That's what I'm trying to do, y'all. But anyway, too late in the day for that. Too late in the night to be clowning, right? But, yeah, Candy would like... When Nene was saying, you want me to divulge my friendship with uh, Wendy, but uh, you could understand why they want to give y'all that information because it's more so not for TV. It's personal. And Candy going to act like she know exactly what Nene was talking about. I said, you know what Nene was talking about, Candy. Don't act stupid. Don't act stupid. She was saying one thing that had nothing to do with the other, but then you tried to make it be that way when Tanya Sams was trying to get in your ass about the principal and not taking up for her. And I was like, go ahead, Tanya Sams. Go ahead, girl. Um... But going back to the latest article, it said, um, the Glee alarm added all this and so much more felt like the rules only applied to me and that I was being held to a different standard than others. But you continue to be the judge. Okay. On May 10th, leaks walked off during the first part of the reunion Housewives of Atlanta. Uh, season 12 reunion, her departure was centered on her comments questioning the legitimacy of the marriage between Moore and Daly, both 49. Okay, during Sunday's portion of the three-part finale, the new Norma actress exited a second time after butting heads with Burris. Okay, Candy Burris. Um... Speaking to Entertainment Tonight on May 15th, leaks open up about why she chose to leave the virtual gathering. All they had was to focus on Nene. She told the publication, my check need to be doubled. Thank you very much. My check need to be doubled because the rest of you girls live a false life. 
And I'm like, Nene, <laughs> don't we all live a false life, okay? Some don't, some do. All right, we always want to be something that we're not in some parts of our life as we're growing up. In our youngsters' days, as well as our, uh, we call it, pre-adult uh, stage. And then when we get in our middle class and going towards the... Uh, the secure stable part like 45 you know where we got everything together we think we got it together and then we hit 50 shit and we ain't got it we ain't getting it <laughs> we just gonna settle on back okay and look for retirement and that ripe old age to sit there and smell the roses okay when you get 62 65 67 however you looking at it okay but that's what we looking at honey we ain't trying to run that rat race because you can't run that rat race all the time and i can't see candy doing it you know, forever either. None of the women, all right? But you're talking about you need to double check. Nene, it doesn't take... A, it, it's not rocket science what you're doing as a career choice, baby. Well, I wouldn't say a career choice. It's just an option. Because all this reality TV stuff can go out uh, off air anytime. They can just pull a plug. Hell, they can pull a plug uh, with YouTube content creators and say, no, you have to start paying us. To be on our platform. You know I'll be out. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'll be doing series of countdown videos. Because I ain't paying to be on no YouTube. We already paying when they in a sense. Taking some of our money that we get each month. Okay to be on a platform. So but if they had to come up and say. Look we need that plus some. Uh uh your girl wouldn't be here. <laughs> I'm just telling you. I started it for supplemental income. I didn't start it because I needed therapy. Even though some people use it for therapy. And it's a good outlet to come in and talk about um, different subjects and topics and get other people's perspectives on what you're putting out there and your way of viewing it. You know, it's a, it's a good job, uh, but I wouldn't. It's not my it's not my sole income, okay? Because YouTube been making some trips. They've been tripping sometimes. And even Candy Birds have uh, found out how trippy YouTube and your revenue and your subscriptions, your subscribers can be a little flawed at times. All right. But it just is what it is. And that was it for her article, you all. I was just uh, looking at the storyline, timeline, and she just popped up and, you know, saying she did the best thing for her <laughs> was to just put down her computer get off the computer for a few minutes i guess uh in case we had to deal with nay nay <laughs> like nay nay girl nay nay what options do you have but to stay on this ratchet tv programming really what options do any of them have because kenya got a multi-million dollar company child and she's sitting up here fooling around with real housewives of Atlanta. okay same thing with the other five women. They say they got it going on, but yet they keep signing their contracts. Now, wouldn't that mind bogger you if you don't want to be on it, if it's too stressful, if all these women are getting on your nerves, you can't sleep, you can't rest, you got to go to counseling to be and continue to be on this platform. I think you need to let it go. I think you seriously need to let it go. But that's just my thoughts, my opinions, you all. Family, get down in them comments. Tell me what y'all thought about subject matter, not me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> enough about me. I bring you all the commentary. That's enough. Enjoy or regurgitate it. It's just is what it is, okay? Well, be nice in those comment sections when you're referring to me and wanting me to respond to you. Because you know I will come back with the clap clap, the clap back, or anything I feel like I want to. Depending on how I'm feeling at that time, I'm reading your comment, okay? But that's all I had, guys. Y'all be blessed, and I'll see y'all next video. Good night.